Apple might have the crown in single-core speed, but when it comes to raw multi-core power, the upcoming Galaxy S26 could actually leave the iPhone 17 Pro in the dust. Yeah, you heard that right. Samsung's Exynos 2600 chip is shaping up to beat Apple's A19 Pro in at least one key area that really matters for demanding apps and future-proofing. Now, let's break this down. For years, Apple has dominated performance charts, and the iPhone has been the go-to benchmark standard for smartphone chips. If you wanted the fastest processor for everyday use, especially in single-core tasks like launching apps or loading websites, Apple was almost always number one. But the story isn't quite the same this time around. According to early Geekbench 6 numbers, Apple's new A19 Pro chip, the one inside the iPhone Air, iPhone 17 Pro, and iPhone 17 Pro Max, pulls about 3,781 points in single-core tests. That's still unmatched, and yes, it beats both Qualcomm's upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and Samsung's Exynos 2600 in single-core speed. But here's the catch. When you switch to multi-core performance, the A19 Pro suddenly looks a little less impressive. It scores around 9,679 points, which falls behind not only Snapdragon's numbers, but also Samsung's Exynos 2600. So what's going on with the Exynos? The 2600 chip is clocking around 3,309 points in single core, about 15% slower than Apple, but it hits 11,256 points in multi-core. That's roughly 15.5% faster than Apple's A19 Pro. To put it simply, Samsung traded some single-core advantage for extra muscle across all cores, which makes a big difference for workloads that spread across multiple threads, things like gaming, AI processing, 4K video editing, or running several heavy apps at once. And it's not just Samsung. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is also pushing ahead in the multi-core race with around 11,575 points, even while running at a lower clock speed than its peak capability. So Apple's chip isn't bad, it's still excellent, but for the first time in a while, it's not the clear leader across the board. Now, why does this matter? Well, single core still dominates in everyday responsiveness. That's why iPhones always feel so smooth when you're just browsing, opening messages, or swiping through apps. But as smartphones continue to evolve, multi-core power is becoming more critical. Think of all the AI features companies are packing in, or advanced photo and video editing tools right on your device. Those aren't single-threaded tasks. They rely heavily on having multiple cores firing together efficiently. And then there's gaming. Modern mobile games are more demanding than ever, and with features like ray tracing and high refresh rate displays, the GPU and multi-core CPU power really come into play. Samsung and Qualcomm might finally deliver chips that not only keep up with Apple, but actually outperform it in areas where it counts for power users. Here's another interesting piece. The Exynos 2600 isn't going to be in every Galaxy S26. Samsung is sticking to its usual regional strategy. Markets like South Korea, Europe, Africa, and Southeast Asia will likely get the Exynos version, while others, including North America, will see the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 inside. That means both chips, the Exynos and Snapdragon, could outpace Apple's A19 Pro in multi-core and GPU performance. This could shift the narrative. For years, critics of Samsung's Exynos chips complained they were weaker compared to their Snapdragon counterparts. If the 2600 really does deliver stronger multi-core results, it marks a turning point where Samsung can finally boast about its in-house silicon not just keeping up, but pulling ahead in certain benchmarks. Of course, benchmarks don't always tell the full story. Apple's integration of hardware and software is incredibly tight, and iOS optimizations often make the iPhone feel faster than what raw numbers suggest. But still, these results show Apple is no longer untouchable in silicon performance. Personally, I think this is exciting for consumers. More competition means faster innovation, and it keeps companies from resting on their laurels. If Samsung and Qualcomm are hitting harder in multi-core and GPU, Apple will have to respond with the A20 or beyond. That means even better chips across the board in the next few years. So if you're looking at the Galaxy S26 when it launches, don't be surprised if the performance conversation sounds very different this time. Apple might still rule single core, but Samsung and Qualcomm are bringing serious multi-core firepower to the table. And that could matter a lot more in the future of mobile computing. 
What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. See you in the next video. Take care.